So we've reached the Stinkle of Season 3. Um, yeah, this and the Dag 2 portal are the only two episodes I do not like from Series 3. But, you know, 10 out of 13 episodes, that's a pretty good ratio, right? Better than Chibnall's. I know I keep making fun of Chibnall, but I just can't help myself sometimes. So, this episode is very generic episode of Doctor Who, and in a bad way. Like, if you've seen, you know, if you've seen any sci-fi thing, you know exactly what to expect. A scientist makes an experiment. Experiment goes wrong. He turns into a monster. Monster goes on the loose. The doctor f defeats it. Um, it just... Like, I don't understand why after he became the monster, he just started killing people for no reason. It doesn't really make sense to me. That wasn't really clear. Mark Gaddis, um, he's a very interesting actor because he always, like, has very hammy performances from, you know, this to Solok. He's pretty hammy. And he's even hammy in The Father. Maybe the only thing I haven't seen him that hammy in was uh, Twice Upon a Time as the Brigadier's Grandpa. But he was still a little bit handy, hammy in that one. But he's a very interesting actor. Um, and I think he pulls it off here. I think he's good in it. But I feel like if the story was better, his potential would be met. I still think he's a better actor than he is a writer. I'm not a big fan of his Doctor Who writing. But I do like his Solok writing. He's really good as a writer on Solok. The only, like, scenes to me that really stand out are the, like, references to the mysterious Mr. Saxon, who's definitely, you know, not the master. And, um, how Martha's mom is warned by this mysterious man about the doctor and how dangerous he is. And I think that, like, you know, Russell's T. Davies has a really good track record of implementing little arcs and hints throughout the seasons while not making it like too predictable because I'm so like you know for people first time watching they wouldn't have guessed he's the master they probably would have thought he's like some politician who doesn't like the doctor for some reason um I felt like the CGI for this episode was really bad it was just Mark Gaddis's face stuck on this blob and people just running away screaming it's just kind of you know routine Doctor Who stuff though I did like how we got to see more of Martha's family and their dynamic um, we're at the halfway point of Series 3, and, you know, I, I feel like the second half of the season is way better than the first half, because the Dalek stories were bad. Gridlock was good. Gridlock was a solid story, but I feel like it's better when, like, watching it years later, because of the whole Captain Jack thing. Shakespeare Code was okay, but, like, you know, I'm not a big fan of Shakespeare, and Smith and & Jones was just great fun, just really great Doctor Who can't be fun. Um, so like the first half of the season is solid, but the second half of the season is when things get real, you know? Not counting 42. 42 is okay, but it's not like amazing like the last um, five episodes of the season all. So I kind of hope that um, you guys enjoyed watching, you know? Do you think, I, do you think <laughs> the name Lazarus is a bit too on the nose for Doctor Who? I definitely do. Um, am I being too harsh on this episode? Let me know down below. I'm giving this one a D. So, yeah, and till um, I'll be doing the review for 42 next time. But until then, I'll be doing videos on This Is Us, uh, Better Call Saul, and the second Sherlock Holmes book, The Sign of Four. So until then, peace.